Have we forgotten how to save periodontally involved teeth? The Miller-McIntyre Periodontal Prognostic Index will provide information that will stimulate the patient to select the option of treating their disease rather than an extraction. It's evidence-based, statistically validated, it's accurate. It was published in the journal of the American Academy of Periodontology in February of 2014 and in 2015 received the Clinical Research Award from the American Academy of Periodontology. It's based on the scoring of seven factors, age, whether or not the patient has diabetes, whether they smoke, the molar type, probing depth for case involvement in mobility. Each of these is assigned a score and the total score on the right, for instance, if it's a five, means the patient has a 93% chance of keeping their teeth in health for 15 years. Now here are some important facts that you can share with the patient. Patients who smoke, compared with non-smoking patients with the same level of periodontal disease, have a 246% greater chance of losing their teeth than the non-smoking patient. A second fact which needs to be shared with patients as well as the medical community because this confirms the systemic link that we have been working on for years. Out of 100 non-diabetic patients with moderate to severe periodontitis, those who were successfully treated were treated for a minimum of 15 years postoperatively. Some were treated longer than that. Only two patients developed diabetes mellitus which begs the question, does reducing the overall inflammatory load have an impact on preventing the development of diabetes? And another fact you need to share with patients, on average, patients with a score of 4.63 or less never lost teeth. And a little ditty that you may share with patients is, if you wanna keep your teeth alive, keep your MMPPI below a five. Corny maybe, but very impactful when shared with patients. Where can I learn more? By going to my web textbook, www.pdmillerswebtextbook.com. Please note that it has an S in it. On it are two video lectures on the MMPPI and a third lecture on smoking cessation counseling. How can this improve your practice? First of all, when given this information, a greater percentage of new patients will accept treatment. Secondly, a higher percentage of patients will complete treatment. Third, and very importantly, these patients will stimulate self-referred patients, something that we all would like to have happen. It will improve, it improves overall hygiene and compliance in the maintenance phase of treatment, which begs the question, does the patient deserve to be informed of treatment options other than extractions?